Hey everybody, this is Charlie from Rustair Toyota here. I just opened up my phone and clicked on the Toyota app. As soon as I opened up the app, this is the screen that pops up. So you can see my current Toyota car is already connected to my app and you can see the odometer and how full the gas gauge is or the gas tank. Uh, down here, if I had the subscription for Remote Connect, I would have the option to utilize that here. However, my subscription has expired, as you can see. So when you have that subscription, you can start up your car, um, obviously without being in it, and then you'll have 10 minutes of the car essentially running and you can get in it within that time period. Otherwise, the car will shut off, but it should have auto adjusted to that neutral temperature um, regardless. So let's say it's, you know, really hot out, the car would have cooled down. Uh, and if the, it was very cold out, the car would have warmed up. That uh, temperature is automatically goes back to wherever you had it when you last turned off the vehicle. Uh, as we scroll down here on the app, you'll be able to see your vehicle health report. So you can always click on that option and this will give you if there's any current recalls, um, any maintenance status or other things. Looks like I might have some exclamation points of a uh, recall, but uh, taking care of that for sure. Um, you can also look at uh, service history here. So if you click on history here, you can see the last time you had history done or if you have, um, and what was exactly done on that date with the exact mileage. So you could click on this and it gives you all the notes right there for what's been done. I can back out of that and you can actually schedule here. So if you click on schedule, you'll just get a map and you can schedule your next service appointment. Uh, here's Insure Connect. Um, that gives you the option to share your vehicle information with Toyota if you want to. And then you can look at warranties here. So here's all of the different warranty options you can kind of scroll through. That would just generally just uh, be in your glove box, but uh, now you have like a copy on your phone if you never want to go to your car or it's not convenient for you to pull it out um, within your car. You can always access it because your phone's likely going to be on you at all time, all times. So uh, here's roadside assistance. You can call roadside assistance uh, right here just by clicking on this and then a number pops up. Of course, I don't want to call them right now, but uh, you can get all of your questions that you're curious about from calling them there. Um, now, as we scroll down to the bottom here, um, you have more information just on connected services here. Um, any notifications if you have any uh, account settings. You can look at security settings, change anything there. And lastly, I'll just go up to when you click on My Garage, um, your vehicle name pops up, nickname for the vehicle, subscriptions that you currently have. You can see the vehicle capabilities if you click on there. Also, the specs of your vehicle. Uh, you can also look at your tire pressure. Um, so you click on tire pressure, you can see one of mine is currently technically barely low. Um, that's not particularly concerning, but you can always see where they're, where they're at. Um, again, you can see your service history also through this option here. Same exact screen that we went through before. You can make your uh, selected dealer there, and again, more with a warranty options there. So that's kind of just the basics of the app that I wanted to show you guys as we run through here. Uh, our number is 262-334-9411. If you ever want to give us a call, you can contact um, us via that number. You can just stop by and ask any of the sales reps and we would be glad to help you out. Otherwise, drive safe and have a great day.